Oh, we just will have to tear, tire him down. He's, you would think this fish probably weighs five pounds. I noticed there's crappie all along the bottom here on this flat. And they are spooky. When this boat gets close, they move off. All right, all right. What is happening, people? Sit back at the lake doing a little fishing today. Hey, first fish of the day. Nice old crappie right there. Now we're entering in that time, the water temperature is about 61, 62 degrees. And uh, these crappie have moved up on these banks, scattered out in the back of these coves. Guys, I'll show you where I'm catching them at. So stay with me and I hope you enjoy the video. So right now I've turned the back end of the boat back up on the shallow side. You know, that's a pretty crappy on that. Still on that, uh, so long as I'm catching them on that wily color, that is in the chaos two bait. I'm gonna keep on, I'm gonna keep on catching them. Notice that's a male crappie. I didn't pitch out far. There's a stump on the bottom. Uh, there's, there's structure here and these males was hanging around it. I just pitched out past it and boom, he reacted good. <clears throat> and I, I switched over to that. That is a, I'm using a paddle tail bait. That is the wily color. You notice it's kind of white and yellow looking. Uh, you know, nice pretty little male crappie there. So when you come to the lake, uh, you'll notice behind me, there's a little bit of cutout right here against the bank. That's a flat here. Water's about two and a half foot deep. So if you can tell it's really shallow right here. And out behind the boat there, about 20 yards, it's probably six to seven feet of water. You know, if you have trouble fishing around some of this wood structure, pitching around it, you can find these crappy out here on these flats. That's where spider rigging really becomes effective now when these fish get out here and scatter on these flats and you know you can just move the boat around uh, you know of course I'm casting I have live scopes so I can spot them and cast at them uh, but I noticed they're really spooky out there now it's kind of early in the morning I'm sitting in some shade so as the Sun comes up those fish won't be up in the water column they'll move right to the bottom and move around so anyway hey let's go catch another fish y'all Oh, there's one right there. This small one. Little small fry. Get guy, he's got the right attitude. That's what Dennis always said. He jumped on that thing. He had the right attitude. That's what you're looking for. You're looking for that thump. Yes, sir. You like to feel that thump. And uh, you know, that's what makes it fun. If you can come down here and bump along the bank real, real slow. It's it's almost like bass fishing lots of times. Bump along the bank real slow, see a little stick up or some wood in the water, and uh, cast over there and get bit. Man, that's that's all right right there. Ah, a little bit on the small side, but you know that crap is 10 inches. Boom. We trying to keep a little bit bigger fish today. I'm working my way still back down this cove, just working the bank. We're sitting in about four and a half feet of water, so technically crappy could be spawning out here anywhere out here on this flat. And we just bumping our way. We ain't gonna go a lot further. There's a tree in the water down here. I'm gonna check before I go. And as always, when you're approaching uh, some structure on the bank, Fish your way, just like a brush pile, you would be fishing in the center of the cove. You're gonna work your, you're gonna work your way. This is probably a bass. No, it's a crappie. He's uh, he's over there sitting in that shade up against that bank. Get over in here. I think he's gonna be a keeper. Yeah, he's a little bit better. Now see, he at that thing. Look, good gracious. And he thumped it too. He didn't play with it. He come out there, 
and he thumped that bad boy. Yes, sir, we'll take him for the pot. So many times if you, uh, so many times if you get up on these shallows, shallows and around these structures, and uh, you start finding you're only catching small fish actually up in the brush or right up in the shallows, don't be afraid to turn around and cast back out deeper. A lot of times what happens, those females, they'll stay out there suspended, they'll move up here, they'll lay their eggs, hang around with these buckfish, and they'll move right back off and they'll wait. Now whether that's uh, a lunar, whether they're waiting for the full moon, dark moon, I don't quite know, probably more water temperature than anything. Water temperature gets right, they move up here, lay some eggs, move back. Crappy don't lay all of their eggs at one time. They lay them in different stages with different sets of males, just like a largemouth bass does. So don't be afraid to cast out there where it's deeper and uh, you'll be surprised. You may pick up some bigger crappy. Another male crappie here. Just laying up there towards that bank. You know, 10 and a half inch crappie. 11, 11 inch crappie. Good crappie. Gracious, what a bass, y'all. He's gonna try his best to get me up underneath that. Six pound test line, this little hook. I don't know, y'all. Good grief. Oh, we just will have to tear, tire him down. He's, you would think this fish probably weighs five pounds. That chaos too bait <laughs> on a crappy jig. What in the world? You ever seen such? Thank you, Mr. Fish. <laughs> That's crazy, y'all. All right, let's see what she weighs. Four point four and a half pounds. Good fish. Good. Four and a half pounds. I figure she's close to five. There she goes. Now you get up tight in the shallow water. I mean, here's, <laughs> you gotta be quiet. So my boat is aluminum. So any anytime I move around in my boat, I don't have any foam on it anytime I move around if I trust me on this when I say this 
You go to bumping around in the boat, you're gonna spook fish. That's just plain and simple. I've watched them on live scope as deep as 15, 18 foot deep, and somebody step off the deck going back to put a fish in the live well, and when they step down that vibration, poof, they, they, they gone. So you get up here where it's shallow, slow down and be, slow down and be as quiet as possible. Don't drop any rods. Let the butt of the rod hit the, uh, hit the deck because you're going to spook the fish. And of course, you don't want to spook the fish. You want to keep them close. So. I'm going to bump around on this flat. You notice the wind has puffed me up here pretty tight on this flat. And I'm just casting around in different spots, trying to get a crappy to respond. And we're going to let the boat float by this tree. Let me show you this tree. You see that tree behind me, so I've got back in this corner had to let the boat get around to get the nose of the boat in there. So there's fish scattered. I'm not really concentrated on the tree. Uh, there's stumps behind me up to the tree. Those fish are just scattered out around that stuff. And they're working their way back and forth. They're not necessarily sitting right on a stump or a piece of structure. They just they just work it just like this, in and out. So. I've been just fan casting. Uh, it's how I've been catching them. I've just been fan casting around and boom, you'll finally get one. Hey, that's got the right attitude. I got up so tight to that tree, y'all. I had to get my long pole out and stick it over there in the limbs to catch a fish. <laughs> Renata bug. He's a little small. We trying to keep a little bit better crappy. So, so I'm having to go. So I'm having to get over there close, keep it up real tight, and drop it down through the limbs. So let's ease over there and see if we can catch one more. All right, all right. That's about a 10 inch crappy. We'll put him in the pot, add him to the, add him to the mix. All right guys, with that fish, we're gonna go ahead and end this video. We're gonna probably fish a little while longer. Anyway, uh, fish are on the banks. Some are still out. A lot of the females are out scattered away from the banks. You can find fish in the brush along the stumps in the back of the coves. That's where you can go find them right now. Variety of colors caught fish today. Uh, caught all the fish on Lake Country Baits today. So give them a, give them a look, uh, lakecountrybaits.com. Uh, I'll scroll it at the bottom, check them out. He's got, I think 84 colors out of different colors. So anywhere you fish in the country, you can find a color that suits your water conditions. Anyway, you remember God is good all the time and all the time God is good, don't forget, Hit the like button, click the notification bell so you don't miss an episode of Wildlife Adventures. Please subscribe to the channel. Appreciate all my subscribers. And hey guys, and you remember, it's a wild life and I'll see you on the water.